Cave Warriors, what's up? The computers are taking over, that's what's up! What? Well, there's this thing called the Game of Life, and it's gonna- Stop. Let me explain this. The Game of Life, it's not just a board game, it's actually an artificial life simulator created by John Conway. I put a video down there about it, so if you don't know what it is, click on it, pause this video, go check it out, and then come back. But essentially, you create a configuration of black squares that you then leave over a set time frame and watch it evolve. It was released in the 1970s, and after many years, this computer program has spawned a self-replicating creature. Oh my god, they're taking over! If you're not worried about this, go and watch iRobot, and then realise that when they are legion, Will Smith won't be here to save our asses. But, since the program is a simulation, it really doesn't have any real-world implications just yet, but it does have some interesting findings for artificial intelligence. There is a link to the New Scientist article below me. Let's imagine some future technologies now. Wouldn't it be cool to talk to people in other lands by just pressing our hand? No interesting things about people just by looking at them. Take images by just doing this photo frame thing with our fingers. Know what most people really think about a product just by holding it, regardless of what the manufacturers want you to think. Shouldn't we get up to speed with the Jetsons first? You know, before we start looking at new technologies. Anyway, that sounds all like a sixth sense to me. That's because it is a sixth sense. A wonderful piece of technology that converges the world around us with the almost limitless information base of the internet. It uses a small projector and camera that's hung around your neck and you interact with it using different colour thimbles on your fingers. It's still in the development stage but there is a working prototype and a video of that working prototype in the more info section down there. I know it sounds crazy but go and watch the video it's just amazing speaking of the jetsons space and how things would look in the future how about some old illustrations from 1951 by ed cartier on what he thought aliens would look like in the future they range from what looked like a floating pea with testicles to a chewbacca impersonator wearing a pink bra i really love these old sci-fi illustrations uh, they, they've just got a lovely feel about them I hope you guys agree about that I just I think they they just feel uh, indescribably wonderful <laughs> forgot to mention that the link is uh, yeah 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 down there they know about down there by now it's Thursday so what do you want the weird weekly question to be leave all interesting questions in the comment section down there and make sure to leave some guys a lot of you guys are watching this vlog now but people are just too scared to step forward and do a question so just do a question it could be stupid funny it could be anything but just leave something down there and remember keep it real hey there's a cool cat in town here's my green theme won't get you down and make you dance all day make you party all night he will show you how to move through the He's Paul, Paul, the coolest cat, a real cool cat, a real cool cat. He's Paul, Paul, the coolest cat.